You know, this um, this Irish um, politician woman who was, like, blasting off about, you know, all these hate crimes and so forth, the thing is, right, all this hate speech online, I don't think it's got anything to do with hate speech online at all whatsoever. Firstly, right, to start with, so look at the Middle East, right, as a region and as um, various countries, right? They are perpetually and eternally in war with each other and have been since before the Roman invasion of England, right? And it, they didn't have internet back then. So they didn't need online speech or offline speech or even broadcasting speech. And there was still, um, it's, it, it's, uh, it's, it's in their nature. And it's, you know, you might say, well, look at the Irish, you know, they're all kicking off and they've got a bad temper and so forth. It's very, very different. The weather of the temper here is common sense and agreeability, which is understood through, um, you know, basically dispute resolution. But we have always allowed the right to dispute, you know. Now, the thing is, we aren't actually that much at war with each other. We have had wars and conflicts, but we've still got parliaments and so forth. I actually believe that, um, I don't think it's got anything to do with the internet or not. I don't think the internet makes a difference because, you know, you might as well have said, if the Irish thought it was that much of a big deal, well, why didn't they ban talking about it in, you know, in the when they invented the printing press? Why didn't they ban, you know, all these things very shortly after the printing press was made? But no, instead they said we got free speech. There was a lot of dispute and argument about, you know, there were people mocking the king and so forth. I mean, look, they've stopped, you know, the Russians have stopped people from mocking Putin. Now, what I want to say to that woman, you know, with hate speech, you know, with a hate, hate speech chip on her shoulder, um, you know, no one wants anyone to go around stabbing anyone, but I don't think that it's necessarily got to do with anything online. I mean, look at the Tories, right? These Tory adverts here, right? Conservative adverts. They are... They are belittling. It's evidently clear they are belittling, mocking the opposition, right? Now, the Irish ministers might say, well, we don't engage in that kind of um, promo. Well, the Tories do in England, you know... Uh, whether it's meant to be a comedy joke or not. I mean, you could have racist jokes and say it's meant to make people laugh and be funny or not. But at the end of the day, there's not really, it doesn't really matter if it's over religion, race, colour or whether it's the opposition. They're actually mocking the opposition. And this is what I want to actually bring it down to. This woman is saying, oh, well, now, if you actually get your brain in gear and you think about it, well, um, um, that's what legislation actually is where... We're making laws to control behaviour. No! Who would have thought it? She's really getting her brain cells into it, deep down into the ideological thinking now, isn't she? You know, the most simple bit... You can't even get any more simple. I mean, if you go on, like, you know, uh, an, you know, if you go on a tablet, you know, which has, like, you know... Um, four colored buttons. It's almost like it, it's you know, there's fitting the shapes in the box, like you know, the, the triangle goes in the triangle, the star goes in the star. You know, if she got any more simpler, any more basic, the, the, so, some kids' toys aren't simple enough. I mean, if you get a kid's book that's like you know, ABC, but it's literally ABC. You know, three pages, A, B, and C. And then to do any more, you have to buy the next volume, right? That is the level of intelligence that we're looking at. And I don't think that it's good enough. And, you know, she... Oh, I'm about to make a very enlightened statement now. Oh, uh, it's coming now. The enlightenment, the deep reflection enlightenment's coming. I'm having my moment. It's coming. Well, if you actually think about it, um, legislation is we're actually making laws to um, govern people. No. Unbelievable insight. The power of insight is unbelievable. You know, this is it. How about this, right? How about this, right? She wants 
she believes because someone hates or they're saying certain things that apparently encouraging more people to hate something, right? She thinks that people shouldn't be allowed to say anything online. And I'm quite convinced that if they get that law through, then even if you start saying you want to, you know, make the laws or change the laws, like let's ban seagulls from Ireland or, you know, let's, you know, ban dolphins from Ireland or something like that, whatever, you know, I'm quite sure, I'm absolutely convinced that they're going to say that you once they, you know, you can't even say that online to, you know, suggest that you want to, like, you know, make it legal. It's like, oh no, you know, we don't do things like that. Well, what they're going to, what angle they've got on this is that once they've banned all speech of things that are, you know, um, hateful or hostile, then they're going to say, well, because you can't say or speak anyway, we're not even going to let you, um, you know, even propose that we could make any changes or anything like that, which would be in, co in, in conflict with that. So let's just take something, you know, let's not use people because it's too controversial. You know, let's say like, I don't know, driving, right? You know, um, let's say, you know, our cars, you know, let's say that, um, you know, that, people hated cars or didn't like them, right? Um, but but the government wanted to have them. Now, I'm quite certain that, you know, if you're not allowed to say you hate cars or you don't like them and you want to get rid of them, they would start saying, oh, no, we're having them and I'm sorry, but you can't, you know, you're not allowed when, you know, we're not, you know, you're not allowed to make any suggestions now for any legislation or any changes for get rid of cars because that's wrong, because it's wrong, it's morally wrong, and all of Ireland agrees morally wrong because we've made it the law now. So we're not e we're not even going to think about that now. We're not even going to go there. You ca you're not even allowed to legally discuss it or even contemplate getting the law changed. And when they've done that, then you are definitely not um, free to vote and elect and change the laws you want. They probably even make political parties, you know, illegal, like Lawrence Fox is getting prosecuted, you know, um, for his Blade Runner stuff, you know. If, um, you know, he even probably has a political party that says that, you know, they want to ban, you know, get rid of cars. You know, now, what, but what they'll do, once they've stopped us from even saying these things, and then even, because it's so bad and morally wrong, then you won't even be able to allow to suggest um, getting the law changed contrary or, or the other way, right? Because it's just, you know, you can't, even, you can't think it, right? So then what they're doing is they're trying to make it so you can only ask for laws being made and do what they think that we can or can't do. Well, that basically means that that's, that's actually been a, a monarch, a ruler, the ruler actually decides what you can and can't do. Now, if if you if the people are meant to meant to suggest laws, suggest what's legal and not legal, but then some, someone suddenly says, right, well, you can't actually have this, you can't have that, and you can't suggest that and or that. Uh, you know, we're not even going to entertain the idea. Well, then you actually aren't. Either you cannot, either you can decide what is going to be legal or not, or you can't. Now, when they start saying there are certain things that you can, then you're not, you're not even, you know, you, you, it, 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 they actually effectively, you don't have a democratic government anymore because you've got a body which is saying certain things which can and can't be done, and then out of the things that, you know, they say you can, you know, it's almost like, you know, getting a deck of cards, right, and saying you can't have hearts, you can't have spades, you can only have clubs and diamonds, right, and then put them on the table. Now, that ain't democracy, because then they're actually, actually, they're, it's like on um, YouTube when they say, oh, we'll think of the questions and then we'll think of the answers, you know, we'll, we'll conjure up the questions and then, well, you can have A, B, or C, or the answers. And that is effectively what type of government they want, because they know best, apparently, right? They, and they decide this, uh, not us, not actually the consensus of the public. Now, what actually, I can give you another example of this. And once, 
once they have stopped you from saying certain things or even discussing it, right? And you know, you know, and, and even having policies that would, you know, go contrary to that are forbidden. Then it's like the petitions committee in Parliament, and they've got these standards, right? Standards, but it's not legislation, it's not law, right? This is just their standards, right? But effectively, what it means is anything that the Tory party or Labour don't like or don't want you to run, you can't because of standards. It's not up to standard, right? And effectively, I think that's what the Irish government are doing. What they're doing is they are out of, you know, if you've got infinite creativity, what they're doing is saying, well, you know, we think that, you know, they're basically getting a bunch of things and saying, you know, um, only these things are up to our standards. But who sets the standards, though? Who sets the standards? This is the thing. We're meant to elect parties, but then what you see, they'll, they'll have party, or you, you know, it'll, almost like you know the BMP. You know, it was it wasn't very popular. Some people voted for it, but you know, it's it's taboo because you know they were you know um, the, the British National Party. You know, it almost like that. It's amazing that Sinn Fein have actually made a comeback, to be honest. But what what they're gonna do is they're gonna say that anything that you might want the law to be or the country to be if they don't think that it is appropriate they're going to say that it's not standards and you can't even ask for it or talk about it that's what they're going to do but then they're actually ruling you you, you, you can't in politics in political debate it's meant to be discussion about how the country should be run and um polling the people and trying to get people to back a certain way of how the country should be run going on how many people want it to be run that way but the way they're doing it is almost like primary school they're saying we're the teachers you're the students and we're going to tell you what you can and can't do and we're going to teach you right the the, the ministers aren't there actually to be teachers now, some councillors have been challenged on this by a couple of um, these mum movements who have been assessing local councils and they've been um, taking notes and the councils have got in their head that they want to change people's behaviour and adapt people's behaviour to behaviour like this or that. I would say to the Irish government this, right, there has been hate and conflict since the dawn of time, since our monkey in a tree eating a, a snake um, against a tree or something, right? Or, you know, Aboriginals um, hitting, picking little liz lizards up and banging them against stones to knock them out, right? Now, you don't need online. You don't need anything online, right? to have a ongoing eternal conflict in the Middle East, which is ingrained in their nature through evolutionary process, right? Nothing's going to change that, right, whether you're online or not, unless you start poking around with Klaus Schwab's genetic engineering and so forth, or breed out of them by sex, which, you know, you weren't doing too quick a job out of that when, you know, they were all having arranged marriages. So, you know... It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a haiku. It's a it's it's a distraction. It's it's absolute tosh, because even if people did get knifed, even if people did get knifed in Ireland and there was a, a, a an incident, right? There are, people are getting shot in schools in America, but it isn't necessarily to do with on anything online provocation. People just, like, get pissed off and go do it. You know, you know, Boris Johnson's talking um, Zelensky out of um, having peace talks about the war while people are dying and getting their buildings blown up. Boris Johnson probably could have saved about, you know, thousand lives um, while those peace talks, if, if, you know, whatever missiles and bombs didn't hit. So that man, Boris Johnson, uh, you know, while he was dallying around, people died. But, you know, we the newspapers want to hear about uh, a riot in Ireland so they can, you know, shake it up. And if, they, if it wasn't published in the newspapers, 
No one would hear, no one would hear about it, right? So if you didn't have a newspaper published in this country, no one would even know. So no one would even know about any hatred incidents or anything or spread anything about it. It would just be, it wouldn't exist except in one town. The fact that the newspapers are publishing it is because they want everyone to know about it. Hate crimes, hate crimes, hate crimes. Suddenly, if everyone knows about hate crimes, is that spreading the, 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 if the, if, if no knowledge or awareness of hate crimes is in the brain of anyone in England, right? It doesn't exist. So when a newspaper publishes a story about hate crimes in Ireland, they've just spread it to the whole of England that it exists. So the newspapers have spread it because they want them to know about it. Doesn't matter what reason for or encouraging it or not, they still want it to be in your brain. They want the words to go in your mind and you to know that it exists. That's spreading it. And another thing is also that, um, you know, the whole sort of, you know, the entire, um, you know, these people in government do hate things. And the problem is, is that with the Parliament Petitions Committee and with... Um, you know, they, they don't... These ministers, right, they are a different creed. They're a different breed. They have different customs. But there's some very unnice ones. Now, what they do is, you know, instead of telling people that they don't like things or telling people that they hate things or whatever, they don't. And instead, they do other things like lie like Boris Johnson. The Petitions Committee are doing it. Now, the thing is, with these standards, for example, when it comes to politics and petitions, we're looking at very, very serious matters of running the country and changes in law. And people are asking, like, stop 15-minute cities or get rid of ULEs or whatever it is. And they're saying, you can ask for that. You know, we can't think of a way to do it. That's because they're about as dim as that um, Irish woman in uh, the Irish uh, minister. You know, oh, I'm having a really deep insight here. It's like Lisa Simpson hair. Oh, I'm having a really deep insight. Well, actually, I've just figured something out. Um, we have to have laws to go and everyone. No, you know. Oh, I've just thought of a way to um, stop 15-minute cities that someone asked for. How about we change the legislation so no councils are allowed to do it until first they have to get um, consent from at least 51% of the local electorate. Yes, that's great. I mean, you know, seeing so that only costs, um, you know, 800 and odd pound to poll each ward and the entire project's going to cost about, you know, whatever million, you know, um, it's quite a small price to pay seeing though that people might not want it, you know, oh, I didn't think of that. Well, no, conveniently, you didn't think of it because you want 15-minute cities, you know. It's up to your standards, standards now, you know. But why lie, you know? It's not up to their standards, which basically means we don't want you to do it. We don't like it. In fact, we hate the idea, you know. So it's, you know, they... These people have um, their own language, which is like, oh, it's the nice, pleasant language. Um, standards, standards, you know. Anybody got a translator? Actually, yes, uh, translate that for me. Uh, we're not running that because we don't want to. Tough. Well, but it's my right to, and, you know, and I've just thought of, you know, th there are ways you can do it easily. Tough. We're not doing it, you know. This this is it. Um and then you've got the, the other point, which is the main important point, is this, right? All of the problems in society, of all of the problems in society, there is one thing, right, that these people don't seem to think is wrong or bad. 
And I don't know why that is. And that is that they think that it's, you know, it's nice. It's a good thing to take people's money from them, to have lots of money. In fact, excess amounts of money. Um, they think that it's, it's, it's a good thing. It, it, it's, the, it, it's the right thing to do. It's even um, encouraged, right? No, it's not. It's not the right thing to do. You know, it, it's, it's not the right thing to do. It's never been the right thing to do. And these people think that it's perfectly amicable. It's perfectly good. It's not, right? If you were going to do anything to change the world and make all the problems between society go away, right? Then, you know, oh, stop hate speech. That'll change everything. You know, why don't you just make a law, very simple, saying you're not allowed to make profits. You get a wage out of something, uh, non-profits. In fact, these people even have non-profits. They even donate to them and give to them. And the, and the non-profits even donate to political parties. These people like non-profits. Why? Because they're tax-free. There's something good about them. As long as the non-profits are under their control and direction and they're doing something that's useful to them, like science research or whatever, you know, you know, the old Jeremy Corbyn, electricity and water and Royal Mail and the telephone companies and so forth, right? Why not just wake up and realise these people are bad? It's wrong. You know, you might as well, you know, get a slap in the face. It, it's an insult. It's insulting. They insult, you know, the, you know... They're complaining about getting headbutted in the street or punched in the face or spat on or whatever or called uh, Tinkaladi or whatever you want to do, right? It is a moral insult to mankind. <coughs> when someone gets a widget and charges you an extortionate amount for it, when you're going to Lidl, no, they should be in chocolate bars, and there's a Mars bar there, and it's 54p, and then you're going to a, you know, garage, and it's like £1.54. Why? Because they want to charge more for it. It is a crime. It is a crime and theft. You might as well just, you know, they might as well just put their hand in your pocket and um, do a Jimmy Savile on you. It's wrong. It's criminal. It is a crime. They are even in law taking to make a profit and put you at a loss. Make a gain out of something and put you at a loss by telling a lie. Why are they are telling you a lie? Because they're saying that the Mars bar uh, costs more. But it doesn't. How does it? When the Mars bar is made from the same Mars bar factory, it's got the same wrapper on it. It doesn't cost more. It's the same fucking Mars bar. Why lie? Well, well, you know, it, 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 it does not cost more. It is the same thing. It's the same thing. So why is he charging more? Because he wants more money. Right? A bank robber wants more money, but it's all down to consent. You know, and here we go with Mark Zuckerberg again and, you know, Elon Musk, well, consent, admit, submit, consent, you know. But Irish, oh, no, coming to Ireland, no, no, no. Don't consent to that. No, no, don't consent to hate crimes, you know. Well, they don't consent to them in the Middle East, but they're still fucking doing them to each other. They don't consent to them. They can't stop. They can't stop. They can't stop each other. They can't physically stop. So how can you blame them? You can't blame them when they can't fucking stop. They have no control. It's genetically fucking embedded in them, right? That means they're not responsible. That means it's not their 
fault. It means they can't help it. This is knowledge, understanding. Oh, well, how do we solve it then? I don't know. Don't ask me. Donald not sure wants to fucking blow them all up. Right? I heard one in Ireland that says fucking smoke them. They might be, um, you know, having riots in Ireland, but none of them are telling, saying, let's smoke them with missiles, are they? Because, you know, we're the ones who are sending Boris Johnson over who um, don't want them to, you know, have a peace talks. Carry on fighting. You, anyone who has guns and weapons... Don't blame people on the streets for fighting when your government has an army. What are you going to do with that? You know? Oh, we've just got a few missiles. The ones we don't use, we'll put in an incinerator. You know? Um, oh, it's an airport. There's someone armed. Why do you need that for? Oh, it's the police. They've got a taser. Oh, I might need to use it. You know? Might need to defend myself. This is the thing. Maybe those people in Ireland are defending themselves. Maybe they think they're under attack with a threat. You know? This is it. Have you asked them for their point of view? Apparently, you're not allowed to give an answer now if they can't speak. You know? See, you won't be able to give evidence if you can't say the reason. Wouldn't you rather someone admit the truth that they hate something rather than lie? Like the petitions committee. Oh, it's standards, it's standards. No, it's not standards. You don't want to do it. Just say it. There is no such thing as a standard. It doesn't exist. You don't want to do it because you don't like it. You're saying that it's off limits. You're refusing to do it. Where we will not do it. Yes, but I've got the right to ask for what I want. We refuse. We refuse. We refuse. You can't refuse. You know what we are doing? Well, that's criminal because you're lying. Lie, 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 lying. You know, this is it. This is the problem. What's the solution? Well, it's about time they made profits criminal criminals and then we'll get some real criminals um put to justice but it's not going to happen because they're the what they think it's good i just made some money loads of money out of people look at this yeah you just fleeced everyone you know